Well, well, well. The truth is out there. Um, I just did some research about evictions in the winter, and I found out that there is a law in the United States that protects uh, citizens from being evicted in the winter. No matter the cause, no matter the proceedings, uh, it's called, this law that protects is called uh, winter break. And it even explains, explains in, the, uh, in the website that it's also considered cruel. They practice this law of not evicting in the winter in Europe also. And there's a lot of explanations in there uh, about the reasons that why not, it's not right to evict families in the winter. <clears throat> it had nothing to do with giving them money to get out, like in this case, um, it's considered uh, the breaking of, in other words, an attorney can take this in his hands and fight for that stuff if they want to. Another thing I found out is that it doesn't matter if you are in at least month to month or in a longer term lease, uh, still is a lease. And I am very shocked because some attorneys will just jump on you and tell, well, if you're not in a long term lease and you're month by month, uh, you can be evicted. But that's not, this is what I hate about attorneys. They just go into a, the dark side of it, the not helping side of it, but they just talk like robots, like machines, you know. I mean, if you look at the whole thing, there is law that protects the citizens from being evicted in the cruel winter. Um, it's, it's considered cruel, no matter what. So I wonder if Carol, uh, Herman and Carol Company knows this. And this break is called winter break. It's from November to March. The person should not be evicted. Um, which in Colorado it should be longer because the winters here are long. They last until like April, especially in the mountains area. The winter lasts until April, something even part of the first week of May. That's how long the winter is here with the snow and freezing temperature. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this. Also, uh, Kettle, uh, Herman Kettle has passed us for the, in, the, in the year 2018. On April and October, they gave us a letter saying that we should be a, a, you know, clear here by March the 1st. Then suddenly we receive a letter, a very short term letter like in a hurry and they took one month off so they back it up to february the first which deprived us from uh one month of i would call it mercy still march first is difficult because winter here alone it will be breaking the law that's supposed to protect you from it's called winter break, right? So notice, we're not getting evicted for no pain rent. We're just getting evicted because the ambition of a company that wants to build uh, here. In the other side, I don't know, is this landlord, what the real motive of the landlords are, but whatever the case is, I have, I, I, I have witnessed and I'm going through the same thing myself. I still don't have a place, a safe place to be and uh, it's been very, very difficult for me to be moving on, on, on January. I felt like even my memory was just going away. I couldn't even think straight. I, uh, I got sick. I am sick already uh, in many ways. Um, I don't know. I, 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 here is five in the morning and I cannot close my eyes. I have been many, many, many nights in the month of January, like in a torture, not being able to sleep, carrying things out, moving, 
And when I'm finally supposed to be relaxed to go to bed, I am worried about the landlord knocking in my door in the morning, like he has been doing everybody here for the last two weeks. <sighs> if, if I was able to sleep, not being wake up in the morning, I also work at night in my job. Depending on the weather, I could, I could work like two, four in the morning then I only have a chance to sleep in the mornings at daytime until probably noon or one o'clock and having people knocking in the door. People that were trying to help me and also the landlord rushing people out. People have left in despair. There are some people out there that they really, they got help financially, but they don't have a place to be. I don't know where they are. Some have to leave the town or the state so to be able to survive the winter. Um, I don't know. It, it's amazing. I I am not criticizing or trying to put the landlord down. I believe he has a heart and he does things, you know. But um, he has his own reasons and he his own burdens, I understand that. But sometimes uh, you have to think a little bit straight. I mean, what's the deal with this company? Why they don't guide him? The landlord probably doesn't know much, as much as the company does. And I believe that the Herman and Kettle has not guide him very well uh, because Kettle and company doesn't care for us. For, for, for that company, I, I feel like we're just trash. You know, and there's so I'm in such an ambition to build a, something of private interest here that that uh, they didn't think in the circumstances and stuff they put us through. I mean, I have never seen this. This has been horrible, horrible. I even called Channel Four. I probably should have not called Channel Four, but Channel Seven. And uh, um, I don't know how to explain this. It's, it's just that. Oh, I. I'm still going through these. I, I just cannot even close my eyes. I cannot even think straight. It's been a period of torture, mentally and physically. It's a rush, rush in plain winter. And I believe that the company, they, to save their own skin, they provided some financial help, which is just nothing really, it's nothing. When you look at a, a, a the stream, a uh, situation we have been put to, uh, and the and the high life, you know how expensive it is to live here or to find a place. Three thousand dollars is nothing. And uh, I mean, just just kind of balancing, comparing, you know, the pros and contras. Um, it's it's just, I mean, somebody can give you five, let's say five thousand dollars tomorrow, which is you know put you out in the street you're not ready you don't have a place especially if it's in the winter time they have to consider all the situations the impossibility of the town to find shelter number one number two the winter number three uh disabling i mean i am a, i am almost a disabled person the people here that live in their oxygens babies born uh people in dialysis uh, girls with mental problems, uh, you know, you name it. I don't know, if you consider the whole enchilada, the whole thing is just being done wrong, I believe. It's, it's wrong, it's wrong. Uh, anyway, just because in a specific period of time, a company wants to build something. I don't understand this. I don't understand why they don't consider some other stuff. I am not saying that we should not have been evicted, but it's just the way it has been done. It's horrible. I needed to say this before I try to get some sleep. Thank you.